Welcome back to the Gnome Show, everyone. I am Joshua, your humble host, and it is my duty, nay, my pleasure, to troll the briny depths of YouTube so that I may bring you the shinies. I cover short films of varying genres, video games, analog horror, and sci-fi, and really, anything the, uh, that I think is groovy. I hope you'll enjoy tonight's offerings content for the blood god i mean on with the show tonight for you i have fallout distress by jake travascus go ahead and give him a sub and a like let's uh, see what um this uh distress is all about let's boogie In 2077, the war was engulfed in nuclear war. The war ended soon after, but only 1% of the world's population survived. As a side effect, the radiation caused by the nuclear blast spread onto every living plant, creature, and human. Over many years, this resulted in severe mutations in all forms, as well as a deterioration in all life. 200 years later, there are still some survivors, most died, some went mad, some mutated, some try to live on. That's not good.
good meal. Not entirely sure what he killed, but it was something. It's as dark for me as it's dark as it is for you. I believe that uh, their uh, version of a, uh, a pipe weapon. I mean, it looks like it could be a pipe weapon. Or maybe just a converted rifle. That's not cool. <clears throat> you know, realistically, ghouls would be the easiest uh, 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 monsters to use in live action films. Uh, very literal, little CGI, if any, would be, need to be used, in, uh, like from what I've seen.
Okay, those are his boots. I thought that was a a ghoul sound. Dude, pick up your feet. Uh oh. Wouldn't it be funny uh, or tragic if, like, the distress signal is coming off a fucking dead body and, like, uh, whatever's down here is just, like, you know, he's just like, things keep wandering into my lair. It's a very nice, easy, convenient way to get food. Why or some kind of something super no definitely not a super mutant maybe a mutated boar or something no one would have gored the fuck out I don't know Unfortunate, the time to loot. Yeah, turn the radio off so you don't get struck uh, struck for copyright. Good waste uh good uh uh good wastelander. I tried. Yes you did. Impact on yourself, real quick. What's up, buddy? Back him. Help. Oh, 
Oh. Fallout 2 rules then. God damn. The wasteland does not forgive. Fairly sure that might have been bad karma right there. Well done. Um I, I I kind of prefer that, like, uh, especially since uh, it, it, you know, like the budget goes far uh, more out of control when you add more special effects. But uh, so having the, the monster just being uh, like uh, never being like shown. Good, good choice. Um, I, I like the loneliness of everything. Um, like, uh, the morally gray choice, uh, 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 that he was prevent, prevent, uh, presented with, and, uh, he, I mean, you don't have, like, specifics, like, uh, <clears throat> you don't have a box telling you that, uh, this child is, uh, is, is dying, um, there's not much you can do for him. Uh, it would be a mercy to put him out of uh, out of his misery. Um, you don't have any of that context, so uh, without it, uh, you are left uh, with uh, like so. That was a negative karma choice he made, uh, or possibly uh, a mercy. You you never know. Um, I don't know. Uh, I know uh, Bethesda wouldn't uh, allow you to make that kind of choice, but uh, uh, Interplay, Fallout 1 and 2 probably would. Let me know your thoughts uh, down in the comments. Uh, like, subscribe, and share. Uh, be safe, happy, and healthy, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, I will see you in the next one.